हेलो एवरीवन आई एम ईशानी सेन गुप्ता आई एम अ डेवलपमेंटल थेरेपिस्ट एट हीलिंग नेस्ट वसंत कुंज एंड आई एम बी बेसिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट कंडक्ट डिसऑर्डर सो कंडक्ट डिसऑर्डर इज अ सीरियस बिहेवियरल एंड इमोशनल डिसऑर्डर इन विच चिल्ड्रन हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ डिसऑर्डर डिस्प्ले अ वेरिंग रेंज ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्टिव एंड वायलेंट बिहेवियर्स दीज चिल्ड्रन फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड फॉलो रूल्स they have difficulty in showing empathy they find it difficult to understand that the others have rights and respect and they tend not to behave in a socially acceptable manner in order to understand conduct disorder we need to understand the signs and symptoms of conduct disorder so let's see what are these these children tend to bully intimidate or threaten other children they can often start fights and use weapons that can be harmful for others they are physically cruel towards animal as well as other individual they like to engage in activities like stealing robbery mugging shoplifting etc they can force other individuals for sexual activity there are often be reports of these children running away from home for a minimum of two times they like to stay out at night without parents permission prior to the age 30 they have often skipped school before the age 30 rather than engaging with pro social individual they like to engage with delinquent peers they often like to destroy others possession set things on fire like to others these children display a significant impairment socially as well as academically what can parents do to help children suffering from conduct disorder as a parent plays a very important role in a child's life since the child spend most of their time with parents so they need to be well equipped to deal with children suffering from conduct disorder firstly parents need to educate themselves about conduct disorder they can read books talk to therapists professionals to better understand what exactly is their child going through next they need to set clear boundaries around their homes also set clear rules communicate these rules clearly to their child and follow through However, do not engage in power struggle with your child because children suffering from conduct disorder have difficulty dealing with people in authority. Next, parents need to create a low stress, calm and structured environment at their house and not to take the negative behavior of your child personally because often a child take out their frustration and stress on you. because you are one of the most closest to the child next encourage your child to use the skills that they learn at therapy to be used at home and most importantly make yourself available for your child listen to them try to be there for them so that the child feels supported and cared for and do not feel that they are lonely in this difficult time Lastly parents should take care of their own mental health support surround yourself with supportive and positive individual engage in activities that keeps you calm and stress free because if a parent is happy it gets automatically reflected on the child the most common and effective therapy used for conduct disorder is talk therapy the first therapy is cbt also known as cognitive behavioral therapy in this type of therapy it tries to identify negative thought patterns belief system and self talk of the child and change it towards a more positive thinking pattern and belief system also teaches the child positive coping mechanism the next therapy is behavioral therapy In behavioral therapy it tries to modify undesirable behavior to a more desirable and pro social behavior using reinforcement 
The next therapy is family therapy. In family therapy, it tries to identify the unhealthy family dynamics and also tries to identify negativity at home and try to teach family members more effective communication method to increase support system, also improve interpersonal relationship. And the last therapy is peer group therapy. In this type of therapy, the child is paired with another peer of the same age group so that the child is able to understand others' point of view, also control their own delinquent behaviors. Thank you so much for watching my video and please stay tuned for more informative videos.